Well, Traffic Alert has been the first project that we're rolling out um, since we started the volunteer program. It's a global issue. We've seen that it affects people all over the world and people mm -hmm. have been trying to fight it for decades, for decades. And, you know, we are making, you know, progress, but not big enough. The impact is not big enough to rescue a lot of people. Congratulations to your team, you and your team because this is a much needed intervention. In this 21st century, when we talk about uh, tackling all forms of child abuse, uh, modern slavery, human trafficking, it is essential that we start to make a lot more use of technology, which is really, at this point in time, part and parcel of our everyday lives. It's important that we start to utilize technology to address um, some of the social ills in society. How technology provides the means to develop transnational networks uh, which are really integral to disrupting trafficking mm -hmm. and it can also be used to fill the current data gap which exists due to a relatively small number of um, reported cases. Mm -hmm. So the app in particular provides the means to identify patterns in trafficking hotspots. And so we built this app around the thinking that would have the public be a part of it, have people, like random people, just got onto the platform and report it. What we did was that people, for instance, can get onto the platform and describe all, everything that they've seen, type out the location, give us as much information as they can give us. And if, for instance, they have um, pictures or they have videos as well, they can upload that onto the platform. But the part of it that really gets me interested in the fact that, like you said, everything that we're doing is based on analytics and artificial intelligence.